Hello everyone and yet again welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 35. In the last episode we went to the power plant and received Zapdos, the legendary electric flying bird. That is two of three legendary birds that we now own. Own. They are now ours. So on our way we accidentally got into this little battle right here. I have to exercise and warm up before going out for a swim. So we're gonna go ahead take down these guys real quick. I know we're already jumping into this. In this episode of course we are going to be taking on the uh, the the Seafoam Islands that we were saving for later because I wanted to be able to do all of these all of these quests uh, for the legendary birds. Uh, all at one time. I figured that would be the best way to do that. So we're actually going to get rid of uh, our Spiro right now because we're not going to need Fly. And in fact, we're going to need Raichu. Uh, obviously, we want our Electric type because we're going to be fighting a lot of Pokemon. And having a full team is uh, is what we want What we want right now. Uh, so, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's withdraw. <laughs> Let's withdraw Raichu. Look at, look at Zapdos, man. Look at him. Look at him. Julian the Zapdos. All right, let's go ahead and withdraw this Raichu. Now I'm hoping that we can do this in one episode. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can and like just just go. All right, so we'll go ahead and defeat all of the trainers that we can find as well. I meant to actually I meant to put uh, Raichu up front, uh, but that's okay. So we'll be able to go ahead and take down these Pokemon, uh, and obviously not a huge deal. And we get 116 Poke Dollars for winning. All right, so let's go ahead make sure that we switch this, and we're gonna be going through this area. Again, as fast as we possibly can because we want to be able to do the Seafoam Islands in one episode. It'll just make things uh, so much better for everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So, I'm sorry if this episode's long. I still love you even though you probably hate me. And that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Take down this guy. He's going to have a, uh, a Goldeen. I think he has a couple Goldeens. No, a Goldeen and a Shelter and a Seeking. So, you know, nothing at all that you need to worry about. And 116 Poké Dollars for winning. Uh, let's go ahead and actually use our Max Repel. Uh, we're going to be using a few Max Repels in this dungeon. I recommend that maybe you do the same because there's really only a few Pokémon that you can you will want to get. So we'll go ahead and take down this Poliwag. Boom, boom, boom. And this Poliwhirl. Uh, again, we've seen these Pokémon. Not a big deal whatsoever. 841. Oh, wow, our Raichu is way too strong. But that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead. Oh, dude, dude, hey, hey. I want to... Okay, what's, what's beyond the horizon? Uh, he's going to have a, lo a lot of Pokemon. Um, we were able to kill that horsey with Brick Break, so I'm just going to see... Who I'm going to see how much damage we can do with Brick... Wow! We don't even need to use our electric attacks right now. Wow, that's way too strong. Um, we're, way, we're just way too strong. We did fight this guy, right? Okay, yep. Oh, wow, there is a lot of trainers on this route. There's a lot of trainers didn't really realize that. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can take down these bros and stuff. Uh, we'll use Bite on Seeking. See, that'll, that should kill Seeking. Uh, Vaporeon leveled up and learned Acid Armor, which is, uh, it will sharply raise defense, which is actually pretty decent. Unfortunately, we're not really going for that, so uh, we're not going to use that. Oh, surprisingly, that did not kill. Um, that's unfortunate. I thought that would kill, but it did not. Oh my god. All right, let's go ahead and fight these trainers real quick. I'm hoping that they don't have a lot of- oh my god, and of course the first dude has five Pokemon. So we'll go ahead and beat them all with Brick Break. I'm sorry that we have to speed through this. Uh, I'm sure you guys are totally cool with that. Uh, Tentacruel. I don't think we've actually seen Tentacruel. Uh, I don't remember, actually. Uh, let's see if we can use Brick Break to defeat that Staryu, and we can. Let's hope the rest of these trainers are, uh, smaller amounts of tra- okay, good. So we'll go ahead and use Brick Break. That will destroy him. And... Brick Break and a Quick Attack should be able. Uh, although they do have Poison Point, if I'm not mistaken. So you don't really want to use Physical Attacks against the Sea King and a Golding. But that's okay. Uh, of course he has that many Pokemon. We'll use Quick Attack, see what we can do. Yeah, we're plow we'll be able to plow through this. Nope, nope, nope. And Fire Powers was weakened. That's fine. Alright. Down goes Goldeen. His Poliwag. Alright, Anya. These guys are just not worth fighting at all but I want to show you guys all of the trainers that we can can so might as well right all right star use we can almost kill with one hit oh and of course it's gonna use a recover but it's still gonna go down all right so that was uh, that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot um, we fought them there's a lot of trainers on this route route 20 that you can fight uh, without any new Pokemon either so uh, worth mentioning there we go I was waiting for him to come around so we could do that 
Oh, this is definitely gonna be a long episode and I'm, I, I apologize. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't know if that's totally true. Seafoam Islands uh, is not a very fun dungeon, I don't think, uh, but it might actually be uh, pretty quick to get through. So I'm gonna make sure that we go ahead and take down this horsey with some quick attacks. Level 53 Raichu, Jeezums. Jeezums, we're too strong. That is a Seedra that has poison point. Uh, Seedra has poison point. Seeking and um, Seeking and Golding do not. I always think for some reason that they do. Maybe they do in later generations. So I am going to actually use a full restore on uh, Raichu just because we're going to need it in here. Um, and we have plenty of money. So once we can actually buy full restores, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. And as you guys know, I try not to use items anyways while we're actually, like, experiencing the game. I try not to use items in match- in, uh... Alright, I think we- I think we got everything that we could do. Is that all the trainers? There's one more trainer. Okay. This is a pretty easy route. Like, you're not- you're not gonna get lost or anything here. Um, we'll go ahead and defeat this horsey as well. I probably could have just used quick attack to do it, but I don't want it. poison point to hit me. So we will be using probably a max elixir. Or just an elixir at some point. Alright, so now we find ourselves on the actual island that we need to get to. Let's go ahead and fight this trainer as well. Oh, it's not a trainer. They say that Misty of the Cerulean Gym trains here. Interesting. So there's two islands here. Uh, this is why you actually have to go through them to get to, uh, to get to Cinnabar. Which is why it's so much faster to just go south from, from, uh, to go south from Pallet Town. So we got pretty good experience there, actually, from that Seeking. There's no items here or anything, so let's just continue on into Seafoam Islands and look at the Pokemon that you can get now that you're here. So the first Pokemon that we're going to look at is one that is going to be super popular here in Seafoam Islands. It's kind of like where it makes its home. And that is number 86 in the Pokedex Seal, which is a pure water type Pokemon that has a 20 to 60% encounter rate the deeper you go. It won't show up on the first floor right when you walk into Seafoam Islands. Instead, on the basement floor one is when you have your first chance of encountering Seal, and surfing on the very bottom level of Seafoam Islands has a 60% chance of encountering seal and its evolved form dugong dugong is an interesting pokemon because it picks up an ice subtyping and it does have the ability thick fat fire and ice type moves do 50 percent damage on dugong so it's ice types are literally going to bounce off this thing it's going to be able to take any uh any ice type attack in the game it will be able to just shrug it off and it's not weak to fire like most ice types are, which is very, very good in, in, indeed. Now, this does have a 5% encounter rate on the deepest level of Seafoam Islands. And if you don't have a water ice type Pokemon, which you actually do, uh, then go ahead and pick one up. Although, this is where there's a huge problem. Dugong is probably one of the least used fully evolved Pokemon that I can think of. Because simply, you get a better water ice type Pokemon in this game. Uh, we got Lapras just from doing the the uh, Saffron City uh, department store thing, or, or Silphco, I should say, uh, when we took down Team Rocket at Silphco. We got Lapras, who's significantly better than Dugon. I, I feel really bad for this Pokemon. I love its design. I think it's beautiful. Uh, but those stats and the, the and the fact that you get something better than it, uh, it just it just isn't that good. You could use it, I suppose, as a as a wall, but. There's just, there's just a better Pokemon. Now, there's also another Pokemon that we can find here, and that is Horsey. Now, we could have found Horsey in a lot of different places. Uh, unfortunately, I think I messed up, like, I should have done the fishing encounters as we went, uh, and I kind of was like, oh no, I'm gonna do all of the fishing stuff all together at the same time, and you know what, honestly, I screwed up. So, as a 20% chance in Leaf Green of being caught with a good rod, and a 60% chance of being caught with a good rod, uh, in in uh, Fire Red, and Surfing has a 30% chance of showing up. I believe, I believe that, I that this is here in this, in this Seafoam Islands. Now, you can also catch it in Fire Red with a Super Rod, and that is a 40% chance of showing up, which is pretty darn great. Uh, and its evolved form, Seedra, is also available with a Super Rod only in Fire Red, with a 4% encounter rate. Now, it's it's pretty interesting because this Pokemon gets a new ability in Poison Point. Uh, when a Pokemon makes contact with Seedra, it has a 30% chance of being poisoned, which is actually pretty decent. Its stats are not very good at all. 
at all. Uh, it's interesting too because it says it's a dragon Pokemon that's not actually available in the, until the post game. Generation 2, there was a introdu introduction of Kingdra, which is a dragon Pokemon, and it is actually a water dragon. Now its stats aren't very good. Uh, if we look at its stats, it is about the same in everything except its special defense is 95 instead of 45, and its attack is 95 instead of 65, and its health is 75 instead of 55. So you need a dragon scale and you need to trade it to be able to get a Kingdra. So I wouldn't really say that it's worth it. Um, Cedra is just not a very good water Pokemon, which is unfortunate because it's just so cool looking. And then we can talk about the uh, the equivalent for you Leaf Green users, and that is Krabby. Krabby is an interesting Pokemon. Uh, you can see that you can also catch Krabby in uh, Fire Red as well. Now, with your Great Rod, it has a 60% encounter rate in Leaf Green and a 20% encounter rate in, um, in, in uh, Fire Red. Now, with a Super Rod, it has an 80% encounter rate and a 30% encounter rate surfing while you are playing Leaf Green. It's a River Crab Pokemon. It has two different abilities. It does evolve at level 28, so kind of a higher level. Uh, Krabby's attacks cannot be lowered by opponent, which is pretty decent, and the opponent's moves cannot critically hit. I would choose Hyper Cutter just because it's more consistent. Uh, and you'll look at its stats, and we'll actually look at its evolved form, Kingler, who has a 4% encounter rate, just like Seedra, uh, in Leaf Green. So they're kind of the equivalent of each other, but they're both available in each game. Its stats are pretty decent, actually. It has a relatively high 115 physical defense. It won't be able to take a special attack whatsoever. Uh, and a massive 130 attack stat. It's its speed that lowers it. If its speed was maybe a 95, uh, I think we'd see actually a lot of use of Kingler. Uh, but you're not really going to see that in this version of the game. So it's worth mentioning that if you are looking for a Krabby and a Kingler and a Horsey and a Cedra, I would suggest actually going to Cinnabar Island, which we will be doing and doing that there. Uh, and I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Cinnabar Island right now, just because this is the best time I think to be able to do that. So there is a po there's Pokemon exclusive to Fire Red in Leaf Green that you could have gotten earlier, and unfortunately I missed it. So I want to make sure that we go over that now. There is Shelter. Shelter, you can get with a uh, Super Rod 40% chance if you're fishing off the coast of Cinnabar Island. It is a very good Pokemon, actually, with a massive 180 defense stat once it's fully evolved with a Water Stone into its final form, Cloyster. Cloyster does pick up an Ice Typing, but with that defense, it doesn't totally matter. Its special defense is super low, meaning a, uh, a Fire Attack is going to hurt it, uh, a Thunderbolt is literally going to destroy it, uh, uh, Cloyster is not available in the wild, but Shelter is if you have a Super Rod and you're playing Fire Red. It's an okay Pokemon if you're looking for just a really, really strong physical tank. The Pokemon exclusive to Leaf Green is Staryu. Staryu is a 40% encounter rate, just like Shelter, and it comes with two different abilities, Illuminate or Natural Cure. Don't pick Illuminate. Make sure if you get one on your team, which I actually highly recommend, you pick one up with Natural Cure. Now, I actually would have used this on my team if I was playing uh, Leaf Green, because once it evolves into Staryu with a Water Stone, it picks up a Psychic Typing and also a new species, Mysterious Pokemon. Many people think that Starmie is actually an alien. Now, if we look at its stats, it has a speed of 115 and a special attack of 100 and okay bulk. Starmie is really good really good i actually thoroughly enjoy this pokemon like through the roof enjoy it that psychic typing is going to allow its offensive abilities to be amazing that water typing as well it does of course pick up some additional res uh weaknesses but i honestly think that you're going to be able to outspeed a lot of things with starmie and just shut them down super quickly i love starmie for the single player of this game all right, so for the first floor of this of this dungeon, I highly recommend uh, using your repel. All of the Pokemon that you are on the first floor are not worth it at all. Uh, you've you've probably already got them. You're not going to need to waste your time. So there is a big puzzle here. You want to make sure that one of your Pokemon that you bring here has strength. That is the most important thing. You need strength and surf 
to be able to complete this dungeon, uh, which is which is worth mentioning. Probably should have done that before we actually got here. So what we want to do is we want to knock these strength things down into the holes. Uh, there's another one down here that we actually need to hit as well. That is the big puzzle. That is literally it. Is you just need to hit these as much as you can. Uh, not as much as you can. You need to hit them in there and don't fall down into them just yet. Uh, I'm also trying to keep an eye out for hidden items. Uh, there are some in the caves that you need to keep an eye out for. Um, I'm actually curious. Okay. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if there was one there. And we'll use this ladder that will bring us down and we'll be able to push this boulder yet again. This is the one from the previous floor, if you remember, that we literally just, we literally just pushed it. And then I'm pretty sure what we want to do is we want to use this to go up uh, and good, good, good. And then we want to use this ladder right here. So we wanted to push that one down and then come here. There's no items right there, which is good. A repel already wore off, so we're going to choose that right away. Because uh, we don't really want to be dealing with too many um, things right now. And we'll go ahead and use this. Uh, we get a revive, which not not the best. Obviously not the best, but not the worst. All right. And this is a, the other boulder that was just above us. So we'll go ahead and push that down. Thank you. Thank you, Luna. You're so strong. You're so strong. Uh, so we will go ahead and use this ladder right here, I believe, is one of the ones that we want to use. Which will lead us right here to this big pearl that we can grab. Mmm, big pearl. Uh, and then we want to use this ladder, I believe, which will bring us, yeah, exactly, right to this item, which is a water stone, which isn't a big deal. Uh, you can, I mean, I'm a completionist type of person, so I need to get everything, but totally understandable if you don't. Now, there's another ladder that goes down a little bit further right here, so we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can surf, but we we aren't able to surf just yet. Uh, the current will be too strong, so it will actually move us. Uh, all right, so this is important. So we need to come here and push this boulder down. All right. Uh, we can't actually move this boulder where we need it to go. Uh, yeah, we can't. That boulder is impossible to move. So what we need to do is we need to move this up here. And then we need to move this one down. I think I actually screwed up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, so you want to be careful here because you actually need to move. Uh, we'll make sure that the repel is here. Okay, so you want to, you need to move this one out of your way, basically. You know, just move it. Uh, so that we can go ahead and put this here. Obviously, that boulder would have impeded us from doing that. And boom. So we were able to push those two boulders there, which is good. Exactly what needed to happen. Uh, and then we'll be able to use, I believe it's this ladder. Is this the one that we just used? Yeah, this is the one that we just used. So we want to go and use this one, which will bring us down a little bit further. Um, boulders might change the flow of water. As you can see, that just happened. We were able to move those two boulders down, which blocked that way, which is exactly what we needed to do. Um, and now you can actually surf on this area, which is which is uh, very, very good. Uh, danger, fast current. So we don't want to use anything right there either because that would be bad news bears. So let's go ahead and I'm pretty fairly certain that we can surf here now. Yes, we sure can. We sure can. There is an item. Uh, let me grab this real quick because I'm pretty sure it is on these rocks. Yeah, we can get another water stone. So we've gotten two water stones here in Seafoam Islands. Two Firestones in Mount Ember. It's almost like we might run into a legendary bird around. Oh! Oh my god! I didn't even, I didn't even know! I didn't even know! Alright, so make sure you save your game and let's take a look at what this is. Articuno, the last of the three legendary birds of Kanto, is an ice-flying type Pokemon, meaning it does have a type advantage on Zapdos, but not on Moltres, and unfortunately Zapdos has a type advantage on Articuno, and is faster than Articuno. It's for these reasons that I actually think that Articuno is the weakest of the three birds, which is unfortunate because I personally like its design the most. I think it's the, the coolest looking uh, legendary bird. Now, if we look at its stats, we will see that it is much bulkier than its counterparts. With 100 base special defense and a 125 base, uh, 125 base special defense and 100 base physical defense, this thing is going to be able to shrug off a lot of attacks, especially special attacks. 
Now, it is quad weak to rock, but because of its high defense and because of its high health, I do think that Articuno would be able to survive anything that it's hit with as a rock type attack and then would be able to counter that with some type of special attack since it does have a whopping 95 in special attack and a decent 85 in attack a decent 85 speed it's not quite fast enough to outspeed a lot of pokemon but i do think that its bulk will kind of help it now it does have access to rest and some uh, re uh hp restoring moves so it's a decent stalling type Pokemon. It actually excelled at that in the third generation of competitive battle. All right, let's check it out. Yeah! Articuno has appeared. We're going to right away go ahead and send out Shu, who's going to use Thunder Wave. So now we actually are able to get that thing on it. We're going to hit it with a Thunderbolt, which I don't think is going to kill it, even though Shu is super fast. Now, obviously, Articuno is an Ice Flying type, so uh, perfect, great. I'm I'm totally happy with that. Uh, we'll be able to be fine here. It's going to use Mist, which uh, luckily we were able to get it. Uh, let's use an Ultra Ball and see what happens here, Articuno. One. Okay, I was like, whoa, are we going to be able to... Uh, it does no Ice Beam, so you want to be a little bit careful there. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw all these Great Balls, see if we can catch it in a Great Ball, which we can't, which is fine. All right, we only have 19 Ultra Balls, so let's see if we can do it. We did save beforehand, so we're okay. It has Mind Reader as well. Ice Beam, Mind Reader, uh, uh, hey, uh, Mist, or Ice Beam. We are going to switch. Now, this is when Poseidon is going to come in handy, because Poseidon will be fine here. Uh, I'm not going to use any attacks on it because I don't actually want to, you know, obviously accidentally kill the bird. Uh, our, our Vaporeon Poseidon is going to be able to tank literally all of the things that Articuno sends at us. Absolutely no problem. Uh, so we only have eight more Ultra Balls. Uh, it's not looking good. Not looking good. Looks like we might have to end up resetting this. And this, the Zapdos took so long that I'm afraid that Articuno is going to take even longer. Uh, all right, and we only have one more Ultra Ball. All right, so we have to restart. We have to restart. Okay, so now we have Articuno at the absolute lowest that we can get it, and we have it paralyzed. So uh, let's hope we have a better luck on this time. Uh, we had not the best luck before, so... One? Oh, I was like, imagine if we could catch it in one go. I think it's funny that all of the legendary birds have agility, even though, like, they're probably faster than you anyways. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really a concern. So, we're just going to keep using this Ultra Ball and hope for the best. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to... Urgh, come on, get in that ball. One. Nope. All right, come on, come on, baby boo. Nope. We only have eight left. I should have stocked up on... I should have gotten more Ultra Balls. So let's see if a Great Ball has any luck whatsoever. One. Two, three, yeah! Oh man, we threw in all a great ball. First great ball and we were able to get it. Articuno has been added to the Pokedex. One of the legendary bird Pokemon with its long tail trailing behind, its flying form is magnificent. Welcome to the party, Bradley. So I asked Bradley over on Patreon, uh, if he wanted to be a legendary bird, and he wanted to be Articuno. So, uh, Bradley is going to be Articuno. Thank you for your support to you and Julian. You guys get to be legendaries in this game. Thank you very, very, very much for your support. Uh, if you also, viewer, want to be named after a legendary or a team member uh, in future games and stuff that we do, live streams, uh, you can go ahead and look on Patreon. So, right there, we caught, we now own, we own all three legendary birds. That is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and save the game because I'm a little scared. All right, but we're not totally done in Seafoam Islands yet. There are Pokemon that we can catch, obviously, and not only that, but there are also uh, items that we did not get yet. So we need to make sure that we are prepared to go get those. Now, we only have two max repels. Uh, luckily for us, we will be catching the Pokemon, basically, and then leaving. Uh, but I want to make sure that we show you all of the items that we can first. Uh, so we're going to go up here. Seafoam Islands is kind of a maze. Uh, 
and it can get a little difficult to be like, hmm, did I go up here yet or did I go down? So obviously these balls are going to be here. Not a huge deal. Not going to be able to move them. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we want to go back up as far as we can. Maybe not as far as we can, but this is when this is when things get a little confusing. So we want to push that boulder uh, in. We want to push that one down. Uh, so let's go up here. I believe is where we need to go. No, no, no. That leads to that leads to where we were before. So let's go ahead and use our final max repel. Uh, just to be able to, I just want to make sure that we try to show you guys the things here. So we want to use that, and then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually just pop down, fall down the hole, go down the hole, and we will be able to use strength to push this down as well. Uh, we need to get to the other side though, that's that's what's more important here. Uh, and I believe there's no items or anything here, so we'll go ahead and pop this as well. And that will bring us back up here. And if I'm not mistaken, we need to head to... Hmm. I think we need to go up even more. Which I believe, I believe we're, we're like on the, you know, we're on the right track here. Uh, we don't want to pop down here. Or do we? Well, there's a ladder right here, so we can just, we can just see. And then we can pop down here. Okay, perfect. That will lead us to this final boulder. Uh, this is the last one that we can actually push down. We're going to use strength. It's going to make it possible to move boulders. Thank you. And uh, we'll go ahead and see. There's nothing there. We can go ahead, pop down this ladder. If I'm not mistaken, this will actually... So we obviously blocked that path, which is good. Uh, and we can go down here. This is how you get out of Seafoam Islands, by the way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and now we can surf here. That we couldn't surf here before. Uh, Repel's effect wore off. That's fine. Uh, you can't actually go this way. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I screw up? Oh, hey, let's catch a seal real quick. All right, seal was added to the Pokedex. Covered with light blue fur, its hide is thick and tough. It is active in bitter cold of minus 40 degrees. Wow. Uh, no, we're not going to give a name to seal. I like seal. Um, as I've said, not very good, but still a cool Pokemon. Okay, and let's continue on. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we want to head back up. There's no reason to be down here anymore. Um, oh, my God. Now we're getting all the random encounters because our our thing is our thing is gone. So now now we can drop. Okay, uh, it's a side duck. Who cares? Now we can drop down here, which is uh, which is the cool part. This will lead us actually to this area, which, if I'm not mistaken, is there not an item right here? Weird. I thought there was. Okay, strange. So we want to use this right here. Come down here. Uh, there's no items, obviously. Zubat and Golbats, man. And we will be able to use this ladder, which will bring us up. I don't think there's anything in here. And use this ladder. And there we go. The exit of Seafoam Islands, for those of you who wanted to go to Cinnabar, uh, through this way. So that is literally all, everything that you can do on Seafoam Islands. This is a trainer that we can go ahead and battle real quick. Uh, you know what? I should probably speed through and show you the Pokemon that you can, that you'll fight, um, on your way to, uh, on your way to Cinnabar, if this is the way you chose. So you, obviously there's nothing that way. So we'll go ahead. Uh, uh, right above us is where we entered into Seafoam Islands. Um, so, you know, worth mentioning. Oops. All right. So this guy's going to have some bird Pokemon. Luckily, we have a strong-ass Raichu, who is now level 54, which is absurd. Uh, we don't want to be using that too much. And Pidgeotto going to go down in one, one little blow there. Okay, so let's continue. I don't really want this to take too long. Uh, I feel like I'm already I'm already pretty long in an episode here, uh, but we'll just keep going regardless because we can. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's fine. We'll use Thunderbolt. There we go. Goodbye, Cloyster. Uh, and he will use another Shelter. We'll use the Thunderbolt again. There we go. Uh, and didn't mean to really. Well, I did mean to fight him, so that's fine. I don't think there's any items or anything that you can get on this route. Uh, and there's no new Pokemon that you can find on this route. This is just another way of getting to uh, Cinnabar Island. And in case this is the way you chose, I want to make sure that you are able to see what's here. Or, yeah, no. It's an area that we haven't explored yet. And I want to make sure that we do that. I can't believe that we have all three legendary birds already. Uh, I, I hope you guys realize that that means that the only thing left for us to do right now is to go get our 8th badge. 
which is super cool. And there we go, Cinnabar Island. Easy peasy. You can go stock up, do whatever you want to do. Uh, and that'll be it. I'm going to go back to Seafoam Islands uh, off screen, catch all the Pokemon that I can there, and, uh, and call it a day. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, welcome, Bradley Articuno, to the PC. Uh, great to have you. In the next episode, we are going to go get our eighth and final gym badge here in Kanto. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, never give up. Never surrender.